Celebration Radio, 101.5 KAMB Elevation Worship, and oh, come to the altar. What a wonderful invitation from the album, One Way Conversations. Good afternoon. I'm Dave Benton, slipping in here in Deb Millen's schedule. It's 2.07, but we have a very good reason for doing that. Uh, there's an invitation to oh, come to the Stephen Curtis Chapman SCC <laughs> solo <laughs> tour tonight at the Merced Theater. There yes. you go. Stephen Curtis Chapman good, in good. studio. I love that. That, uh, that was a great. See, that's a that, train professional radio guy right there who knows how to take the last song you played and turn that into a great little segue um but it is awesome to uh, to be here in merced and uh very excited to be at merced theater tonight and we're just right down the road literally around the corner from you so we jumped in a car and I had to come over and say howdy. We appreciate that so much. It's good yeah. to see you. Uh, also, keep in mind tonight, if you have not uh, got a ticket yet, tickets at the door yes. uh, for you last-minute shoppers. Please, I mean, <laughs> come join us. Yes. Yeah, it's going to be a great time, 7 o'clock. Doors open at 6, I believe. Well, Stephen, talk about this solo tour of yours. You really are enjoying I, I I talked to you on yeah. the phone here a few weeks ago. You yeah. are really enjoying this tour. Yeah, it really is. A, it's something that I've done, obviously, over the years. I mean, it's how it all began with, you know, a young, a younger mullet wearing SCC, Stephen Curtis Chapman, back in the early earliest of days, 30 years ago, 1987, when my first album came out. Um, the song Weekdays was the first song sent to radio, and then I went around, me and my guitar and uh, a piano, uh, you know, a keyboard, and I would do my concerts. And, um, and then, obviously, over the years, you know, bands and big tours and sound and lights and, you know, the trucks rolling down the road and the buses and I've been incredibly blessed had amazing musicians uh, with me on stage for many years but you know as we love to say back in Nashville Tennessee where where I live now you know it all begins with a song and you know for me sitting down playing the writing those songs playing those songs you know sitting in my bedroom or you know in a hotel room on the road somewhere or in my little recording studio and how God has allowed those to connect with the lives and the hearts and the stories of so many people for 30 years now, you know, 30 years ago when that first album came out. Um, it's amazing to me. And I've been telling that story a lot in writing my book, and we probably talked about that when we were talking together with uh, Between Heaven and the Real World, my memoirs, and telling the story and remembering, you know. And this tour has just been a really neat way for me to get to remember with friends and I, I call you all friends that have listened to my music um, you know even though a lot of times we've never met but just the way my music has connected our lives and our journeys and you know I've been a part of a lot of weddings a lot of father-daughter dances with my songs a lot of you know celebrations and and a lot of seasons of grief and God's allowed you know through music me to have this incredible relationship with so many people around the country and around the world and this is just kind of a way for me to come, just me and a guitar or two or three and, and a piano, and, but just play the songs, tell the stories, kind of take people on a journey. Um, I play the first song I ever wrote or ever learned on the guitar, which is a Johnny Cash song. So I've never done that kind of thing in concert before, but this gives me the freedom to do all of that. And just, it's really a special thing. I'm loving doing it. And I would love to, I'm excited to see a, a lot of friends and, and, and folks here tonight. And if you're listening and thinking, hey, I need to go do that. Yes, you do. Come see us. Come be with us because we'd love to have you. Yeah, it's tough with the band because if you have a thought of a different song, you, they, they look at it like, you want to do what? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you, 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 you have yeah. your, your rehearsed sets exactly. and what have you. So and I'm pretty... looking at them trying to send them you know, signals like, <laughs> hey, let's do this. And, and I'll get that look back. I, I have no idea what you're saying, what you're wanting to do. And then it you know turns into a train wreck. Yeah. So this just gives me the fl freedom to kind of go wherever yeah. the spirit leads. That's in what key? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah good stuff. Yeah. Uh, this tour uh, is has got to be so special because you can be spontaneous during this as well. But you're also on stage in this tour. You've got to be also living the book you wrote between heaven and the real yeah. world. You're sharing yeah. some of those stories, but but there, you're actually uh, being able to share now from the written world mm -hmm. a word to the emotion of yeah. the word. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. got to be, be powerful. Well, to be able to, you know, I feel like the songs uh, through the years have been, I, I've often called them musical mile markers on my journey. They're really kind of my own version of those stones of remembrance, you know, that God told the Israelites to, you know, to build, to set those up so they could go back and remember God's faithfulness, remember their own story in the context of God's bigger story and where he really showed up in these profound ways. And that's what music, that's what these songs really have been for me. Even if it's a song like I Will Be Here for My Wife or a song like Cinderella, you know, um, if it's The Great Adventure, if it's Dive, all those songs have 
real specific um, defining moments kind of in my faith journey. And it turns out in so many others' faith journey, uh, you know, that those moments that, 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 you know, have connected with them. And so um, when I get a chance to do that, you know, it's telling the story and kind of weaving it all together in my book, but then getting to bring it, you know, to life in a way, you know, with the music, uh, it's, there's nothing quite like that. Yeah, you know, and the, and the thing is, you said you've been doing this for 30 years. KAMB's been on the air, uh, be 50 years, November. Wow. And for 30 of those 50 years, mm-hmm. we've been playing your music. Yeah, yeah. That is that so is wonderful. That's, that really is. It's really incredible. Yeah. And, you know, for, for us to both still be in our 40s, you know, it's an amazing, <laughs> that's re- what's really amazing, that we were only, what, 10 when that started, you know? That's right. So, okay, that's right. see, we can lie on radio and they can't tell the difference because they can't. <laughs> see us <laughs> but right. that is not the truth but um it, it, it kind of feels that way but um but That's yeah hilarious. it's an amazing thing yeah yeah it really really is and i remember uh the great adventure i remember watching that video mm. and i saw you wow. on a network show you did dive one uh, one morning i was watching some yeah. morning network oh, yeah. morning show, <laughs> and you did dive and i thought how wa- that's awesome yeah. here you are on yeah. the network singing this song yeah. about diving in yeah. in the world of jesus and yeah. i think it's, that was that really sur- shocked me yeah it yeah. was so cool i remember remember i think the, was I it good remember, morning america it might have been it might have been one of those shows good morning america i remember doing dive actually for a little while donnie and marie who i grew up with the donnie and marie show you know donnie yeah. osmond marie osmond they actually had a resurgence and had a tv show on network as well and i remember doing dive on their show so i don't know if it could have been that or something it was on abc or nbc in the morning one of those kind of morning shows that they were hosting but um yeah it's it's amazing well i'm going to let you go here in a moment if you're just joining us uh, Stephen curtis chapman in the kamb studio is so grateful for this. Uh, tonight, 7 o'clock, Merced Theater. Tickets available at the door. If you've been procrastinating, and you know I'm your president, come, on. Uh, come to the door tonight <laughs> and get your ticket. Uh, yes. What can those coming tonight, what would you like to impart to them? What can they expect? Well, you know, come, I would say, ready to, to laugh and maybe bring, uh, bring some, you know, a hanky uh, close by, you know, because, I mean, you can't talk about and take the journey. Uh, without there being some amazing, hilarious, fun moments. Um, I do a, a lot of storytelling. Again, you know, I the, connect it all together with music, but there's so much in my life that, uh, you know, there's there's so much story behind the music. So uh, I think getting a chance to really take people on that journey, um, my hope in all of it is really that, you know, it's not just, hey, that was really entertaining, that was really fascinating, you know, or interesting, at, at, at least hopefully interesting to hear that guy's story. But, but as always, my hope is that, you know, each of us find ourselves, you know, I'm reading a great biography right now about the life of Hudson Taylor, this incredible man of God, his great, you know, heart for China, which is, is a part of our story as well. And I'm so inspired by reading his story, the good, the bad, the struggles, the, you know, the, the doubt, the, the successes, the, you know, the answers to prayer, the God, when are you going to answer this prayer? All of those encourage me. And I think that's, that's what I hope in, in this, doing this, that others will find themselves in, in that story and, and be able to really be encouraged and that this will just be a great night of encouragement, great night of worship, great night of fun, uh, all of that, you know, kind of wrapped up into, into one. And that's fantastic. Steven, you just pulled into town. You came, uh, it was a privilege to have you come by KAMB. I'm going to let you go because I know you've got a lot of things to take care of. Thank you so very, very much for being part of our ministry here at KAMB. We're in this together. Absolutely. We're yes. in this together yeah. and thank reaching you. people with the gospel of Jesus mm-hmm. Christ. Stephen, thank you. Thank you, brother. All right. Here's Michael W. Smith, his latest, A Million Lights. Stephen Curtis Chapman tonight, 7 o'clock, Merced Theater. Don't forget, tickets available at the door. Once again, Michael W. Smith, now 216. You're listening to 101.5 KAMB.